Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and Apple released yet another AirPods Pro firmware update today, bringing it to version 6A305. They updated not just the regular AirPods Pro 2 with Lightning, but also the USB-C version again as well. Unfortunately, there's no other AirPods updates, so nothing for the AirPods Max, nothing for AirPods 2, AirPods 3. For some reason, they're just updating AirPods Pro right now. Maybe they'll update the others in the future, but let's talk about what's new in just a moment, but first let's take a look at how you can check the version. So I've updated my AirPods Pro second generation with USB-C. Let's open it up here. It's connected. We'll go to settings. We'll wait for it to show up in our settings here. It takes just a second sometimes. There we go. And if we scroll down, you'll see at the bottom, it's version 6A305. That's the latest firmware update. The previous one was 6A303. If we go into this, you'll see they've also updated the case as well. We have version 60.83.0. This is up from 60.82.0. So they've updated both of those, not just the regular AirPods, but also the cases as well. Now this time around, updating my AirPods took a little bit longer than normal. Typically what I'll do is I'll connect my AirPods, I'll take them out of the case, place them in my ear, listen to music for about 30 seconds or so. After I've done that, I'll just place them back in the case, close the case, then lock my phone and walk away. Usually within about 15 minutes or so, they'll update. However, they typically do need to be over about 50% charge. So it took a little longer as I had to actually charge the case a little bit. You'll see we're at 51% and then it updated. So if they're not updating, make sure they're charged at least to 50%. That seems to fix that issue for me, but it did seem to take a little bit longer today to update those. Now, as far as new features, well, the first thing I noticed is you'll see that this pops up just like that. That seems to be fixed with iOS 17.1 RC or release candidate. That actually didn't work for me in previous betas with any of my AirPods. It just wasn't popping up that little dialogue when I opened up the AirPods case. So that seems to be fixed. Also, some people have said that connectivity seems to be much faster. In fact, you'll actually see how fast it's connecting. It's connecting over and over consistently, and it's also jumping between devices pretty fast as well. I tested this with my Mac already, and it just jumped instantly when I started listening to music there, switch back to my phone, listen to music, and it was working great. So it seems to be better for a lot of people that were having that issue before. That was an issue some people had said, even with the previous update continued to happen to them where they just had poor connectivity overall. So it seems to be pretty good. With noise cancellation and adaptive audio, you'll see it automatically switched over to transparency since I began to speak, that's conversational awareness. However, I've found it to be pretty much the same with adaptive audio. However, when it's on noise cancellation, it seems to be much stronger than it was before, at least for me. Some people complained that it got weaker with the previous update. It seemed to be actually better. Now it seems to be even a little bit stronger. That may be the case in adaptive audio, but I've seen really to find it to be about the same as having it on transparency, at least using it right now. While I'm speaking, using conversational awareness, what it does is drop the volume down. You can see that here. If I turn it off, turn it back on as I'm speaking, it drops the volume down, goes to transparency. And then when I stop speaking, it actually will bring the volume back up in whatever I'm listening to. And it seems to work a little bit faster and smoother to bring that volume right back up. So it works a little bit better. I think they've fixed those bugs with connectivity and then also improved noise cancellation and conversational awareness just a little bit more. However, if you want this to actually cancel noise, make sure that you don't have some of these modes on. Don't turn it to adaptive if you really want to cancel a lot of noise, as that seems to make a very big difference. When I just flipped it there, you may have heard my voice change as I have both of these in my ear at the same time, and I couldn't hear much of what I was saying. So now it's actually working like you would expect. As far as bug fixes, if we go into Apple's update page here, it says version 6A305 bug fixes and other improvements. So that's the main thing here. And I do think they fixed a couple of the things we talked about just a moment ago with conversational awareness and noise cancellation, as well as connectivity. Now, as far as sound quality goes, I think sound quality is a little bit better in the bass side of things. It's a little bit stronger, not necessarily better as some people don't like that. I did listen to a little bit of music and it seemed to be more prominent, but I think it's mostly similar as well as transparency. I didn't notice any differences there. Now, one thing I would love to see Apple add with this update has to do with the overall way you check updates. So if we go into our AirPods Pro USB-C here, 
we should be able to just press a button and update. I'm not sure why Apple hasn't added something like that yet. Let us know there's an update. Let us update just like we can with iOS. I would love to see this brought to AirTags as well. Additionally, I think Apple is getting these ready for the update coming out this coming week with iOS 17.1. iOS 17.1 should be releasing usually around Monday or Tuesday. Apple hasn't said officially, but Typically on a Monday is when we see that around the 23rd or 24th. We'll have that with some new features and this probably fixes some bugs and issues as well. However, I would love for Apple to give us more information than just bug fixes and other improvements. Let me know if you've noticed any differences with these latest AirPods update to version 6A305. If you've updated already, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. I'll link this wallpaper in the description like I normally do. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thank Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.